Jeremiah chapter 8 verse 22 said, Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then? She too is going to her seat. Go on. Look, look, look. People see miracle. See miracle. If you are, if since you are born you haven't seen miracle, see miracle. It is easy to manage with one leg if one leg was broken and you had crutches and they removed the crutch. It's easy to manage with one leg. But two broken legs. Come and see. for me hey come and see what the Lord has done for us come and see what the Lord has done for us if it were to be man, we would have really paid. If it were to be man, we would really pay. Listen. For those who think that church is all about money, how much did those people pay just now? If it were to be man, we would really pay. If it to be man, we would really pay. If it were to be man, we would have really paid. Let me now exalt it, exalt it, exalt it. Oh. Emmanuel, be now exalt it, exalt it. Hallelujah, be now exalt it, exalt it, exalt it. Exalted, exalted, Emmanuel, be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Give the Lord a big clap of hand. And take your seat in the presence of the Lord. He is the balm in Gilead. He is the physician there. The one we saw who sent his apostles, disciples out. In Mark 6 and in verse 13, they are anointed with the balm, the balm. Many that were sick and healed them. This oil today is not just going to handle physical sickness, but witchcraft afflictions, occultic afflictions. Every form of affliction and sickness in business Sickness in finances. Sickness in life. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus. We will do two, three things quickly. Before that oil comes upon us. Father, let this oil be blessed. Let something spark today. With its release. Drop it carefully please. Close it still. So it doesn't pour. You know that we are not on bare floor right now. Come with your own bottles of oil and your Bibles and your bags right to the front. God bless you. Please do that first. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you are the balm in Gilead, the physician there. The Bible said in that day, the burden shall be lifted from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck and the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. I take authority. Over every satanic yoke. Every witchcraft yoke. Every yoke of sickness and disease. Every inherited liability. Every arrow of witchcraft. Everything working on your life that is not of God. 
including occultic and demonic agenda, spirits of witchcraft, spirit husband, spirit wife, serpentine spirit, ancestral demons, occultic powers, generational curses, everything working in your life that is not working by God today by this anointing it is broken <laughs> by the authority one who releases the bomb in Gilead Jesus of Nazareth I declare I decree I announce your liberty today in the name of Jesus Command blindness to disappear, deafness to disappear, fibroid to disappear, prostatic disease to disappear, epilepsy disappear, sickle cell anemia disappear, hepatitis A, B, C disappear, HIV disappear. I curse every root of tumor, every root of cancer, every root of growth. Die in the name of Jesus. Today is that day in which the burden shall be lifted from your shoulder and the yoke from your neck and the yoke destroyed because of the anointing. I declare the yoke destroyed. I call it done in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Shout the loudest, amen. A louder, amen. Take a little oil in your hand. And if you don't have somebody who has by your side, may give you. And then close that bottle tight. Close the bottle tight. Close the bottle tight. And lift up the hand with the oil now. Close the bottle tight. Subsequently, if you need to anoint anything on your body with the same oil, you can. And if it is an internal thing and you find that oil drinkable because some of them smell like uh, uh, gasoline at times, if it is the correct one, and there is something in your system you need to, you can use it as a point of contact to flush it out. But today, everything on your life that is not of God is going now. <laughs> Lift your right hand up. Those of you in the front, by the time we are through, please you remain here. I'll speak to you one minute before you go. Let the fire fall at the count of seven. When I say in the name of Jesus, receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. One, two, three. At seven, you lay hands on your head and scream fire. And that fire will roast everything that is not of, your, of God in your body. Father, let your fire fall upon these lives at the count of seven. In the name of Jesus, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Receive. Receive the fire. The yoke is broken. The chain is broken. it done on your way home your healing is perfected 
You sleep and wake up in the morning. You wake up healed and whole. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. Lift your hands high, everybody. Don't forget the Tuesday and Tuesday evening, the wedding program, anniversary. And again, because of systems upgrade on Dunamis TV, television, you might be needed to rescan your decoder to be able to upgrade higher. You may be required to do that within this week. The Lord bless you in Jesus' precious name. I prophesy upon you today, you proceed with your testimonies and return back with more testimonies. The Lord bless you, keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. In Jesus' name, you shall not enter the wrong vehicle. The spirit of death shall not locate you. We arrest every crisis in our nation. We arrest every spirit of bloodshed. We declare you shall not prosper in this land. In the name of Jesus. Go forth and return back with your testimonies. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. Greater glory. What is your portion? What is your inheritance? What is your possession? What is your testimony? And greater glory. God bless you. Shake seven hands on your way and congratulate them for greater glory.